All right, how's it going? Today we're gonna to be talking about how to actually use a Raspberry Pi to host a WordPress site. So if you don't know what WordPress is, WordPress is actually the backbone about 30% of the internet. It's an incredibly easy way to set up a very good looking website and it's got a ton of plugins. And even better, it's free. So I actually just stood up my WordPress website, spacerex.co, and so that's what we're looking at here. And this is all stuff you can do hosted on your Raspberry Pi. I would not recommend having this in production environment, but for learning, it's a great way to really understand how a WordPress site works. And you can even use this as a development site. So for example, I've got my regular WordPress site hosted on AWS LightSail, and I'm actually planning on starting up a tutorial series on how to set up AWS and all the great things it has to offer. And then I'm going to be basically downloading that WordPress site to my Raspberry Pi and so I'll also be able to host it locally here. And so I can test modifications at my local network. And if they work, I'll be able to then do them on my main server. Then if they break, I won't have broken my live site. So if anybody wants to check it out, it's spacerex.co. And I've started off dual making a lot of my tutorials. And so for people who really like to read tutorials rather than watch these videos, I'm planning on having those available there as well. So let me know how you think. I'm still starting off setting up this website and so I could use all the feedback possible. All right, so now we're gonna go over how to do this on a Raspberry Pi. And so for this, you're really gonna to wanna to use a Raspberry Pi 4 because it's got the better processor and huge amounts of RAM. Whenever you're hosting a website, in nine times out of 10, more RAM means more speed because it can cache files and things like that. And so you're going to want to do this on a Raspberry Pi 4 if you want performance. This should work on just about any model of Raspberry Pi, but you could get some very slow speeds out of the older ones. So to do this, all you need is a Raspberry Pi in which you can SSH into, and I would recommend having a static IP address. I've already covered how to do both of these things, so I'll just leave those in the description below. And so for your first step, all you've got to do is SSH into your Raspberry Pi. And so once you've SSH'd into your Raspberry Pi, we're gonna to wanna to install three things. First off is Apache, which is actually gonna act as our web server. And then PHP, which is actually what Apache is going to use to run the website. It's basically the code base. And finally, we're gonna be using Marina DB 10, which is basically MySQL, but an upgrade to that. And so Marina Database 10 is what's gonna act as the database for our WordPress site. Basically, all the data that we put in there, like posts and things like that, is going to be hosted with Marina Database 10. So we're just gonna install these packages from the command line. First thing we're gonna do is a sudo apt update to make sure all of our package links are up to date. And now we're going to install Apache 2 with sudo apt install Apache 2. And by the way, these are gonna take a while. And so now that that's installed, let's install PHP with a sudo app install PHP. And so I would really not recommend hosting this as an actual website or opening up to your outside network. But if you do want to do that, make sure to one, have your Raspberry Pi have a very secure password on it. Make sure it's always up to date and also making sure that the WordPress passwords are very strong. All right, and so finally, we're gonna be installing Marina Database 10, which is gonna act as our database, and as well as PHP MySQL to interface with Marina DB 10. Basically, Marina DB 10 is a better version of MySQL than MySQL is, so we use that now. So we're gonna type. All right, so now that that's all been installed, I'll go ahead and clear it to give us some space. All right, and so now we're actually gonna go ahead and configure our database with a sudo under sort secure installation. All right, and so now it's actually gonna configure our database for our WordPress site. So we've not created a password yet, so just click enter. And so now we're gonna to wanna to set up a password, but by the way, this password is gonna be stored as plain text on the Raspberry Pi. So just know that. So I'm gonna do password one. 
And then we are going to not have anonymous users. And so we're also going to disable a remote login. This would only be used if you were using the Raspberry Pi just as a database and had another computer as a server. But this is all going to be in one, so we're going to disallow it. And we're going to delete our test database. All right, and reload the privileges, and that's that. All right, and so now that database should be initialized. So now we're going to set it up for WordPress. So we're going to do sudo mysql dash u root dash p to enter a password. All right, and so now we're actually interacting with the database directly. So the first thing we're going to do is create a database, database with a create database, WordPress. All right, and so now we've set up the database. Now we need to give the root user access to it. So type this command, and I'll leave this in the description below, and add in your password. And mine is password1. So now our root user will have access to this database. And finally, we're just going to flush the privileges. And so now we're done, so just hit Control D to exit. All right, so right now, Apache has already set up a website for us just by the way it starts up. So let's go ahead and just try that. So the IP address of my Raspberry Pi is 10.0.1.30. And so as you can see here, it's created this web page for us by default. Once we get through with this tutorial, this is going to be our WordPress site. All right, and so right now there's all this stuff in there, and we want to delete that. And so we're going to cd into var slash www slash html, and we're going to delete all the stuff in here with a sudo rm star dash r. And so now there should be nothing in here. All right, and so now we need to actually download WordPress. So we're going to cd into our user's home just so we can download it and type this command. Basically, this is going to download the bundle that is WordPress for us. And so now if we do an ls, we'll see we've got latest.tar.gz. All right, and so now we need to extract this tarball using sudo tar xzf and then that latest.target.gz and this will extract it for us. So now if we do an ls, we'll see there's this WordPress folder. All right, so right now we've got this WordPress folder and we need to copy everything that's in that to that var ww html folder. So the way we're going to do that is do a sudo cp to copy them WordPress slash star. So that's going to say everything that's in this WordPress directory move to var www.html. Oh, a cd dash r for recursive. All right, and so now everything should be moved over. So let's just cd back in that folder. And we'll do an ls. And so all the folders were successfully moved over. So now we need the Apache user to have ownership over these folders. So we're going to do sudo chown to change ownership rights, dash r for recursive, and then the name is www-data. And we're going to do it with a period to do it in place. And so now we do an ls-l, and we'll see that www-data, that Apache user, owns all of these files. That means they will be in charge of them. All right, and so finally, we're going to restart Apache 2 to make sure all the changes get updated. So we're going to do sudo service Apache 2. And just restart. All right, and so now everything should be changed to now be a WordPress site. So let's go back into our web browser and refresh our page. All right, and just like that. By the way, to get to this, you just type the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. And so now just set it up as you would with your language. 
All right, and so now it's going to create a WordPress config file for us. So let's just click, let's go. All right, and so for our setup, the database name, the database host, and the table prefix are all pre-populated correctly. Now we just need to change the username and the password. The username we set to root, and the password is what we set up in that database create function earlier. So mine was password one. And so this is going to automatically create a config file for us. It's incredibly easy. All right, and so now let's run the installation. And so now this is just the regular WordPress setup stuff. Name your site, we'll call this SpaceRex2. And I'll be Will. And you're really gonna to wanna to make sure you have a very strong password on here. This is not a good idea, but this is what I'm doing. And now I'll just hit install WordPress. All right, and so now let's just go ahead and log in. Type the username and password. And just like that, we have WordPress up and running. And it is just that easy. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is just go grab a theme. And now it is just like any other WordPress site. You've got your plugins, you've got your themes, and you've got everything. The one thing we don't have set up yet is mail. So you will not be getting any emails from this site because we've not set up our Raspberry Pi to act as a mail server. But now let's check out our site. And this is it. It is just such an easy way to set up a WordPress site. And with very little customization, you can set up something like my SpaceRex site. This was all done by me in maybe 15, 20 hours for, of setting up. It is just incredibly easy. All right, and so just like that, you've got this and you can log on from your local network to it. This is the setup I would recommend. A Raspberry Pi is not secure enough to really use as a web server. But if you were to choose to forgo the risks, what you would do is you would forward the port 80 to your Raspberry Pi from your router, and you would set up a DDNS server that points to the IP address of your home. I've got a tutorial on how to do that using DYNU that I'll put in the description, but do this at your own risk. All right, and that's all I've got for you. Setting up a WordPress site on a Raspberry Pi is incredibly easy, and it's a great learning experience for really being able to mess with your own WordPress site. Plus, since it's a Raspberry Pi, you can have a few of these running and be able to always test with them and try out new things. It's a great way to learn how to produce a website and a lot about databases, actually. So go ahead and leave any tutorials you'd like to see me make in the comments below, and have a good one. Bye.